Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, what's up, all you light here fans? Today I'm going to be reviewing another hyperspeed series for you guys. If you guys already seen the last video, which is the XL7, go ahead and check it out. Now, the one I'm actually going to be reviewing is first ship from the movie, the XL1 and Buzz Lightyear. Before we continue on, if you guys already seen the XL7 review, go ahead and check it out. But before we continue on also with the review, I need you guys to do me a little bit of quick favors, so I'll be right back. Before this video starts, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, subscribe to my gaming channel, go to my Instagram to buy something on my Steam, and enjoy the video. Alright, so go ahead and do that, and also follow me over social media, I have a link in the description down below, and I do have a Patreon, so if you guys want to support this dumb channel, go ahead and do it. But I know you guys are not going to support it, so what's the point anyways? So I got this in HEB for an actually good price of $4. So yeah, my local HEB is actually getting rid of them for no apparent reason. I still want to find more of them, so yes. So here it is the standard packaging, what it looks like. This costs about, the, the ship right here, right this, costs about $12. And the back of the packaging is showing off more ship, also available. XL1, which is this one I'm reviewing. The XL15, which I need. The side cup with the pots, which I need. The XL12 and the XL7 that I already review. So go ahead and check it out. And it kind of, and I have the retractable, retractable landing gear. So yes. So I'm gonna go pause the video, open it up, and show it to you guys. And let's do this. All right, I got it out and forgot to mention one thing with the XL7 review. The tip of the ship is actually made of hard rubber plastic. And when I took out of the packaging of the XL1. The nose tip kind of got bent, so yeah, just be be very careful dealing with that. But before we're showing off the ship, here it is, XL1 Buzz. Of course, this figure has some a little bit of lack of paint, and that pretty much that's it. And of course, the articulation is the same thing like all the other hyperspeed figures, like the XL7 Buzz. Arms can go 360 degrees. Doesn't have any head articulation, which is kind of sucks. Um, legs can go forward and can go backwards, and that pretty much that's it. And also, do not lose these figures. If you do, well, you could put me screwed. Now we're getting on with the ship, the XL1. Wish to be honest with you, the painting and sculpting the detail of this ship looks amazingly well. Light gray with the sand blue. With the dark gray right here in the back from the engine, looks amazingly well. Compare it with the Hot Wheels version of this one. This is a bit longer and a bit bigger than the little guy. So that's actually pretty good. I actually love this ship so much because of the detailing on the back of it right here. Now they are they are releasing the I think they released the crystal gray version of the XL1, but for the five inch figure. Which I have a gimmick that I think these two side have like the motor blowing up, blowing up, then the crystal pop out like that. I don't know how much this costs, but I actually do want to get it, but I need to get the XL1 bus. Um, my major complaint about this one is, this is also, the XL1 has some amazing paint to it. I like the lining gear right here, suffers some lack of paint. The thrusters also suffer some lack of paint, same thing with the motor. And speaking of lining gear... When I try to flip it out, these things are actually hard to get it out. And let me show you what I mean. Yeah. The back of it is even worse. Man, using all my force, I feel like I, I was I feel like this is going to break anytime soon. Compared to like the, the one I have for it, for the XL7 is perfectly good. All Three of them. No issues. But for the XL1, yeah, I I get I'm got scared this thing's gonna break anytime soon. And before anyone's gonna ask what this hole does, if you guys have the little launcher gimmick, 
for many other ship or the two pack comes with the XL1 and the XL15, you can plug it in over here and you can fly around and shoot the enemies. So that's what it so that's what the hole does. Now the how to put it in the, the so how to put it in Buzz Lightyear and the XL1 ship. Well, you open it up the cockpit, which is which is in a translucent plastic, painted in and gray. You can see the nice detail right here, and you can see the XL1 version of Ivan right there. You just will bring the arms out. Bring the legs like that. You want to make sure it's perfectly in. And there you go. And now you can retract, you can bring in the lightning gear and shoo, there you go. And also, like I said, the I feel like the the light gray plastic, I get the feeling like this is going to yellow anytime soon. So, if your copy of this one is starting to get yellow, well, I do apologize. The only way to fix it is a rubbing alcohol. 91% rubbing alcohol. With sunlight and boom, there you go. Then let's bring the let's bring the pilot out. Of course, let's bring Buzz out. Come on, Buzz. Quit being a bitch. That's the easy way to get him out. Just gonna pry him out and make sure this doesn't break on you. And of course, these little figures has some issues standing up. But make sure you have a leaning back to the ship. Overall, the XL7 is a pretty good ship. I ex Why did I say XL7? XL1. I'm sorry, but this is, this is... Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. This is... The XL7 is shorter. But the width of it... Sheesh! And I do apologize for that. Anyways, the XL1 is a pretty good ship. I actually highly recommend that they have this in your collection. If you guys love the Light Years uh, Hyperspeed series. Or if you guys want, just want to collect them all. This is the this is the toy for you. Anyways, you guys, I'm gonna end this right here. So have fun, stay safe, and I'm always I'm out.